welcome 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 back thanks for all the great feedback on my uh the walkthrough uh that i put up for the meta gorilla using the meta human creator it's been lots of good questions one of the main uh questions or i guess one of the things that seems a bit ambiguous um uh, with my walkthrough is the um the combined mesh that i used in the in the wrapping process so i just want to try and run through that and make that more clear it might it might still end up being a little confusing but um, um this guy here this is the actual mesh that i used to wrap to the gorilla um source mesh uh, which is what i will put in a download link in the description uh this guy here is the same gorilla that we used uh for the demo and so these two meshes are identical in that they have the same vert count, the same vert number, and that's what's important when you're transferring your meshes onto your um, MetaHuman. The other components are the body mesh and the head mesh, which are all separate meshes. So, base mesh, head mesh, body mesh. The only, in the end, really, the only two meshes you need is the head mesh and the combined mesh. Um, because for the Meta Gorilla, that's all I used. I, knew, I used the um, the base mesh, the, the full bi combined body mesh, which is these guys here, and the head meshes, which are these guys here. But trust me, this mesh will get you that result, and it will work inside Unreal in the um, in the Creator. There is also another base mesh. I'm just going to hide all these guys. Hide you, hide you. There is a base mesh that you can get from Fab, which is this guy here, and that's him there. He's just on Fab. He's called Male Base Mesh Rigged Metahuman UE5. If you click my link in the description, it will take you to this landing page where it says Metahuman Base Mesh Download. Pop in your email address hit the send me the link then it will take you then it will pop up with this page and this link down here it will then take you to a google drive and you can just download the uh the meshes from there okay i'm gonna hide this guy also gonna hide a gorilla unhide head mesh and the combined mesh so I'm just going to use um, the sculpt tool and just make some adjustments on both these meshes at the same time. Both of my objects selected. This isn't. This is obviously not how I would normally sculpt. This is a uh, just a a quick overview, just to show, so that you can make sure that you see the difference in uh, in your models. Looks like some weird ram man, and that all of a sudden I quite like that. That's yeah, that's weird. Let's go with it. Uh, nose. I'm gonna make sure that we're grabbing the nose of our metahuman because while the combined mesh matches sort of the neck and the body, the face is not exactly the same. Just make sure we are grabbing some of the underneath mesh because we want these changes to be reflected. So big nose, big honker. And maybe we'd do a little bit of neck transformation as well. That's not very even. Thank you, symmetry brush. But just so we've got something something weird and lumpy so that we can tell if something's changed. So, greatest sculpt ever. He uh, looks ridiculous. Okay, so I am going to export this head. Um, I'm going to export it as... Well, if I export them as OBJs, I have to f rotate them forward. But if I export it as an FBX, I can leave them standing Y up. But, um... Oops. Uh, if I export them as OBJs, I have to have them 
as Z up. So I'm going to export the head test. I've actually got some others that I'm that I was testing before, which we'll use as well, because that'll be weird. Um, big nose, big nose head, big nose head test. That'll do. Export you, and I will export the body, the combined body as export selection. Uh, big nose body combined test. Cool. So I also have a um, another another very quick and dirty sculpt I did before. This one is using the uh, base from Fab. Uh, I'm just going to hide that head. So you can see, here's the base from Fab. Uh, I've modified his legs very quick and dirty, turned it into a you know, digi-grade style leg. Uh, it's you know, sort of like a fawn style leg, uh, mainly because I had a question on my um, question on my YouTube channel about what are the, what other sort of leg setups would work, and uh, I didn't know if this would work or not. So I'm interested to find out. So we're back in Unreal, and this is our previous project where we made our meta gorilla uh, which is this guy here so before we imported our uh, meshes uh, and then built our character through the meta human creator we're going to do exactly the same thing uh, so we go back here we're going to make a new folder new folder and let's call this uh, meta sculpt demo. In our Metasculpt demo we will make a new folder. I'm going to call this one Meshes. Well, mesh. I'm just simply going to drag and drop the meshes we just made. Big nose combined body. prefer that grey material to be honest. So I might just swap them so they're a bit easier to see. But this is our body with the big weird ears and the big nose. I'm just going to put that lighter material on it so we can see it. And then here is our head with the big weird ears and the big weird nose. Boop. See him a bit better. Ooh. Shadowing. And uh, here is our other head. Not quite as distorted, this one. And I'm just going to put that material on there, just so we see a bit better. Big nose, bigger ears. Okay. Save all those bad boys. Close that down so we can see. We'll put all that meshes in here so we can have a look at them before we uh, get too excited about it all. There we go. So there's our two two different head head meshes. They're obviously they're still metahuman, so they have the same vert count. And our two very different body meshes, which uh, have the same vert count. In fact, our gorilla is in this here as well. So here is our gorilla. Again, exact same vert count. It's our head, same vert count. So these are all the pieces that we need. So I'm going to delete all those guys out of my back to our sculpt demo and create a metahuman character. We are going to call this meta sculpt demo. Keep things organized with that ink. No. Nope. Okay, double click on that guy. Metahuman creator. This is our meta sculpt demo character. So we're going to jump to the body section. And in the body section, go to conform from template. Down here I want to add our mesh. So which mesh are we get? We're going to use the um, the big nose combined mesh. Add that there. When I import, boink, here he goes. 
turns into our big weird big nose big ears nice uh, overbite there and uh, some weird shoulder deformations but that's okay because that's exactly what we uh, we put in there so now if we go to the head conform from template we have our uh, head mesh that best suits this and it will just give us a little bit more detail in our um, in our head situation so if we turn off adapt neck and turn alignment options to none then we hit conform comes in there is our more detailed better head it's not uh, an amazing sculpt I give you that but you see the process that I'm talking about Turn up the skin. Yeah, that's lovely. Lovely and weird. So from here, because we have a couple of different head sculpts, we can add our um, our other head in our mesh here. See what that does. Whether that, if it, it might, um, it, we can form this head. Now it's moved the neck and the body because when it was... Um, uh, exported from Maya it was in a different position so when your body is not sculpted with your head and your head doesn't match up to the right spot that's when you're going to get issues so we're using conform uh, the neck so that it fixes this neck problem down here and but if we went back to alignment options I went to none you see the necks the heads in the wrong spot so it is actually kind of, it's pretty important to have your head sculpted in the same position as your body. So that uh, you get this nice neck alignment. And it looks exactly like how you expected it to look. Um, so we can go back to the body. And we can change to our digigrade body. There he is. Legs, legs have come in. They look pretty good. Head's gone a little awry. So if we go back to uh, our head, we can try our big nose head, oh, which we have there. So I'm reasonably confident that if I have all the alignment options and adapt options off, it's going to do something a bit funky. There we go, it's dropped down. And if we turn Adapt Neck back on, the head will stay in the same place. But then it lines up the neck there. So really, tra translate back on alignment with the neck for this guy. But it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily match our sculpt. So, um, as I said earlier, you can absolutely download this body uh, from Fab. Um, or you can click my link and click the link in the description and download the combined body and the um, head mesh which will sit nicely together for your um, sculpting or if you're using wrapping software uh, a wrapping tool then you'll be able to combine those things at the same time so while we're here I'm going to create the full rig for this guy there we go, auto rigging face mesh. I will fast forward through to this part. Okie dokie, so that's all rigged up now and I am going to turn on the body range of motion and hit play and see what we get. Well, oh, look at that weird imp. So the legs seem to be rigged. That's cool. That's a very weird face. There you go, there's some skinning problems you can see. That's that's fixable. I hope that's cleared up some of the confusion around the combined mesh versus the separated body and separated head mesh. I hope you get some use out of the, um, the download and um, cool. If you have any questions or uh, thoughts, 
please leave them down below uh, or you can email me at um, sharkbuscafe at gmail uh, cool have a good time bye